All right, I had an idea to uh, split the uh, mane because Mustangs have a lot of uh, hair in their mane and it oftentimes splits on both sides. And I'm going to do that because I need to, just a little more oomph on this side. And uh, not a lot, but I just want a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. I think that's almost enough right there. I don't want to overdo any one thing. And uh, I think that just about does it right there. All right, I'm going to start working on the uh, legs of the horse, the bottom legs of the horse, so I can get those legs finished up. Now, I'm not going to show a lot of what I'm doing because I cover this in my instructional videos on creating a horse. Two videos that uh, cover this, and uh, one of them is uh, called Down the Ridge Line, Creating Down the Ridge Line, which was a human on a horse, which uh, shows you how to also put a human on a horse. You have to have them scaled to the horse. And you you have to know how to scale them to the horse. And then also, uh, uh, creating a horse from scratch, uh, where I just do a horse. And uh, if you order those videos, you get a supplemental video for free on eyes and ears of a horse. And uh, that I included with, at no extra cost so anyway just uh, wanted to give you a little self-promotion there <laughs> let you know that I've got uh, got it covered in videos that I makes it impossible for me to show you how to do it here all right I'll be back in a few after I get this leg to the point where I think it's worth looking at it For those of you not familiar with my studio and my videos, in the wintertime we have a heater. <laughs> Makes a lot of noise in this studio. It's a garage and it has a one of those industrial sized heaters at the other end of it. And uh, when it kicks in it gets real loud. And, that's going to be a noise that you're going to hear often during the winter time. There's nothing I can do about it. It's uh, that or freeze my butt off. And I prefer not to do that. I tried to sculpt today without the uh, heater on because it wasn't really all that cold. But boy, the more I sat here, the colder it got. And I just had to turn it on at least once. To warm things up. This is a tool I made myself. You can order latex material or some kind of material. I, you'll have to do a search on the uh, YouTube. Um, 
there's a lady that shows how to make your own I think latex or soft tip tools and she has in her description video description a link to where you can order the material that you need. It's a two-part material. It's a putty type material. And then you can shape it onto a stick or whatever. This one I put onto a wire tool that I never use and thought I'd get more use out of the uh, tool by making it useful with some with a soft tip. It helps. It's like having a really small finger to smooth clay with. I mounted uh, one of the cameras on my sculpting stand to give a better view of what I'm doing. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to see better when I do it. All right, I'll be back in a little while after I get a little more of this leg done. This leg has taken me forever to get to this point. But I think I'm finally done with this leg on this side, but I gotta do the other side of the leg now. I got a feeling this is gonna take several days to do these legs because it ain't easy. Then again, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. I know, I know this wasn't an exciting video today. But uh, sometimes they just ain't going to be that exciting. All right, that's going to be it for this week. And uh, I will see you on the 1st. I've decided to take off until the 1st of uh, November. And uh, I'm just worn out. Uh, I just need to have some time to renew my batteries and uh, start working on ideas for an upcoming piece I want to do. But uh, this has been a fun journey this piece here it started this last summer when I did the uh, small version of uh, basically this if you've forgotten what that uh, piece looked like uh, this is it here it's about half the size of the one I'm working on now but it's the one that got me started on this idea of uh, Jim Bridger standing up in his saddle the horse is in a different position than this one here, but that's because design changed as I started working on it. So I'll be a year older the next time you see me. I can't believe I've made it this far. I'm happy with how this is turning out. When I get all the legs done, that will be basically it. Except for the base of the horse. I mean, the base of the uh, total piece. And uh, 
and I'll set this aside and start something new. New, but uh, I won't be starting it right away because I need to take a break after doing something like this and start figuring out what I want to do next. And then I got to figure out where I'm going to put all the clays that I'm building up on my shelf. As you can see, I've got quite a few clays building up on my shelf and I'm running out of space on the uh, shelf for these clays, but there are three of them down in uh, the gallery in Mountain Trails Gallery in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. That'll be down there probably till, well, they could be there till through the summer, last next summer, so, <sighs> or until I get a few sales on them, hopefully. So this old codger here is going to see you next month, and uh, I hope you have a great Halloween and a safe one. All right, good night, everybody. See you next time. See you on, see you on the 1st. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.